Welcome back to the channel and this will be a short video about my findings with aluminium or aluminium wire instead of copper. Now this is the stuff here. You can see that I've scraped some off the end and it is indeed aluminium. Which I didn't know whether that would make a good jewel ringer or not. So made one here and one little extra feature of it is at the end I've wound a dozen turns such that there's an LED on it and that should light up when this is switched on. I'm just using a one and a half volt AAA to power it. It uses a very simple jewel ringer or jewel thief type circuit. I'll show that on the screen now. Also, I'm using old radio ferrites. And uh, if I switch on now, you'll see that initially nothing's going on at all. Until I put the ferrite into the tube and there we go the green light is on at the end so what this is is and I'll explain the how I made it now what this is is a solder tube for soldering wire that normally goes inside again from Walmart or wherever and I've wound 80 turns in one direction around connect at the end and wind 80 turns in the other direction down one of the wires goes to the collector and one goes to the base of the transistor which is an NPN through a 5k resistor and that's it for connections really you just connect the positive to the two that are joined up there and you connect the negative to the emitter of the transistor and just to say this is an S9014 NPN transistor right so things look good I mean it seems to be lighting that fine at the end you can certainly see with a bit of a shadow, if you can get one, well it is certainly bright enough with that LED at the end. Does it work with an AV plug? Oh, we can touch various parts on the transistor and you can see that yes, it lights up. Yeah, there we go. So, I've got a piece, another piece of ferrite here, I don't know where this one's from, but uh, we'll pop that into this tube over here. They're all 80 turns, that's all. And we'll see if that one lights up. And yes, there we go. We're getting decent enough output and a bit of range with that one. Now also, this will work with coils that aren't exactly the same kind of a coil, the same kind of a tube shape. So forget this one here. It's uh, 300 turns wrapped on ferrite. There we are. Well, in fact, down at this end only it comes on. It fades out as it goes further up. We've also got just a loop. 24 turns of wire with no ferrite at all. And this does light up as well. In fact, this one lights up all the way along. A bit more at this end. And then there's this thing, which is being powered by the wireless electricity output. It's a temperature and humidity sensor. But uh, yes, the wire in here is a diode, negative one going into the negative, plus across a capacitor with the positive, and we end up with that being powered. And I think that's quite effective, it's quite nice. And of course just being powered from the 1.5 volts and across to there. These whole systems only use about 10 or 15 milliamps, so they're good fun for experimentation. And I think, as a summary, then uh, aluminium wire is perfectly as good as your regular copper, and uh, sometimes cheaper. This is floral wire from a spool that I got some time ago. But you can get them in Dollar Tree and whatever. Just easily accessible, and the aluminium wire does work. So thanks very much for watching.